One, Greetings, YouTube. This is Venomous Woe here. And I'm about to do a gameplay commentary for you guys. This game is called Xenotic. It is a free, open source, first person shooter licensed under the GNU General Public License. And the reason why I'm playing it is because, well, I'm too cool to play Call of Duty in Battlefield 3. So, you get this instead. So yeah, you know those gameplay commentaries where someone is just so good that you want to be like them, like you want to kick as much ass as they do? Well, this is the exact opposite of that. You will see me get destroyed so many times in this video that it just makes you want to sit and laugh. Annoying jokes, whining, and just being a general dipshit will probably follow. So yeah, I just got destroyed by that guy playing as the pony model. I need to look up where that where that pony model is because I want to play as the pony. I have a mortar launcher, which is basically a grenade launcher. It fires grenades that either detonate on contact or detonate after a set period of time. It's one of those shooters where you have primary, secondary fire modes. Oh god, my eyes! It's the worst gun in the game. My eyes are polluted by the sight of it. So yeah, that was the the electro gun, which is what I call the worst gun in the game because really it is. I have found no use for it. And yet people still seem to own me with it. Ignore the Skype notification down there in the upper and no lower right hand corner. Upper. I'm like I'm like dyslexic, but with directions. Anyways, I use the laser to get up to that ledge and get that cool looking sniper thing. And watch this, this is going to be pretty cool. Boom, baby, boom! And it was a no-scope, too. Well, you're probably going to use no-scopes a lot, because using the scope tends to hurt you more than help you in this game. So yeah, the, your starting weapon here is a shotgun. The secondary fire is a melee attack, which I find kind of interesting. So yeah, I just am getting ravaged by that guy's rocket launcher, and he killed me. Direct hit to the stomach. So yeah, I think the biggest, I think the biggest question on your guys' minds is why on earth are you playing this instead of Call of Duty? Well, because I kind of like the old old school arena shooter type thing. And another thing is that number one, it's free. Number two, it's fun. Number three, C1 and 2. Number four, I was too lazy to come up with a number four. So yeah, basically it's cost no money and it's fun to play. So you can't really beat that. And you won't get pit and you won't be charged for DLC either, or new features, or new maps or things like that. So yeah. I forget when the last version of this game came out. It was like a few months ago. So, I think it's still being actively developed. It's like at version 0 0.6. Yeah, it hasn't hit 1.0 yet, which kind of sucks, considering how long it's been around. It started as the, um, it started as a game called Nexuis, or Nexes, or something like that. You, know, you might have, you might have heard of it because a company called Ilphonic, um, took, bought the Nexuis trademark from one of the developers. Like, one of the developers went rogue and gave it to them. And they dolled it up with CryEngine 3 and sold it as a consumer product. Well, the rest of the development team basically just uh, went and made this as a response. So that they wanted to keep the game free for everyone else to play. So yeah, that's basically the whole story behind Xenotic. It'd make a great movie. Don't you think? Yeah, I think you can only appreciate my uh, commentary when you're drunk. And here's the pony. Here's the pony. Oh, there goes the pony. He got killed by that other guy. And I mo mowed down him. And I pick up his electro gun. I don't really want it. You can keep it, brah. You can keep it, brah. And I have like 100% accuracy with two weapons. I don't get it. I'm doing so bad, and yet I have my moments of awesome.
All right, I kill him with a shotgun blast. I'm get, I'm revving up my machine gun on this pony. Now I'm moving toward that other guy. I probably should have stuck with the pony because he kills me. All right, and I'm getting decimated by rockets. That machine gun, I kind of like that machine gun. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's probably not the best weapon in the game. The best weapon is probably the um, Nex, which is that sniper thing. But honestly, I I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's got me a few kills. It's got, that's got to be something. Get, allow, it allows a complete noob to get kills. It's a noob gun. It's like the noob tubes in Call of Duty. Not really. Oh, and I get and I get like fragged by a sniper shot. That kind of sucks. All right, so here I am, just running around with the shotgun. Pick up the machine gun again. This map is basically sort of like labyrinthine, corridory type of map. So there's not much space to move around. So I keep running into the same places over and over and over and over again. Yeah, he's like standing still. I have no idea why that is. Yeah, I fail at using jump pads. <laughs> There's a rocket launcher I just picked up. Yeah, so I switched to the rocket launcher. Fuck that electro gun. Yeah, so I blast him with a rocket, and then I'm just blasting this corridor with rockets just to keep the pony away. You can see the pony peeking out. And he's gone. I fail once again at using the jump pad. There's a pony. I'm trying to hit him with rockets, but I fail. Epic rocket fail. It's like rockets should be the easiest um, weapon to use because, well, there's the splash damage and the huge explosion radius. But no! So I've got the mortar launcher again. Mortars aren't really good for close range. I probably should have switched to a different weapon there. And he just, like, owned me with the Hagar, which is like a, um... It's like an auto-firing rocket launcher. It's not as cheap as it sounds. Though the explosion radius is quite small. But, um... And, I, and now I have the Hagar, so yeah, you can see what it looks like. But yeah, it's basically an auto-firing rocket launcher. It's not that it's not too terribly powerful, it's not a game-breaker. But it's definitely one of the better weapons. Alright, and I kill him with a melee attack and I pick up his electro gun, which I really don't want. And I try to kill somebody with it. I don't know why, because I'm not I'm no good with it. Alright, and that is the end of the game. So uh, thanks so much for paying attention through all this. Rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you guys do. Peace.